So you're probably wondering by the title, what is this farm I need for 1.17, Quinny? Well, I'm going to turn around in just a second and I'm going to show you this farm. But before I do, we're going to go over why you need this farm, okay? So I'm Quinny Bags. Welcome to the channel. How are you doing, my dudes? Today, we're going to be going over one of the most essential farms for Minecraft 1.17 that you are going to need. You definitely need this farm, okay? And I'm going to show you guys what farm that is right now and we're going to go over why you need it. and it is a beehive farm now you might be wondering why do i need honey well it's not honey you need it's honey combs but basically what they're doing in there is they're using those flowers to pollinate or whatever go to work and go inside their area there get honey and then at the end over here they're using shears and dispensers and basically the observers detect when it's a level five beehive and then boom the dispensers go off dispense and they cut the they use the shears to get the honeycombs and basically they run all the way down the dispensers into this chest here and as you guys can see here are honeycombs now if you don't believe me why you need honeycombs before we show you how to build this farm and go over this whole farm let me show you why you're gonna want these honeycombs all right, here we are in 1.17, and I've got some copper blocks behind us, and I'm going to be showing you guys why you are going to want honeycombs. Now, this is only one of the reasons why you want honeycombs here today. So, I'm going to be showing you guys why. So, let's go ahead and check these out. So, as you guys can tell, these are block of copper, exposed copper. We've got weathered copper, and we've got oxidized copper. Now, if you like the look of this copper right here, you might want to keep that look forever. But, over time, in Minecraft days... Um, we're not sure how many, roughly 50 days uh, around there, it can start changing the copper into a more oxidized look. So as you guys can see, this is block copper exposed, weather, and oxidized. So eventually down the line in, a, in maybe 100 days-ish, your copper will go looking from this to this. And if you don't like this, I kind of like this, but if you don't like this, then uh, you're going to want to wax your copper. So I'm going to show you guys why you need this um, honeycomb. So the honeycomb, boom, right click. That's how you wax your copper. Also, you get an advancement with it. How, how much more epic can I get? All right, so that's how to wax your copper. This copper you wouldn't need to wax because it's the final stage, but these three would be essential. If you like this copper, you want to keep this forever, you're going to want to wax it. Now, there is another way to wax. We can go in the crafting box over here. We can grab a block of copper and we can wax it just like that. Now, that is wax copper we have in our uh, inventory. Now, if you don't want the wax on your copper, you want to let it weather. Who? Why? Why would you want to do that? No, I'm just kidding. I love this copper. But you're going to go up with an axe, and you're going to right-click on it, and boom, wax on, wax off. If you guys didn't see that as well, we got the advancement, wax on, wax off. Wax on is when you use a honeycomb to wax it, and axe is when you uh, wax off. So if you want to do that, you are going to need honeycombs. So that is why you want to collect up some honeycombs. Now we're going to go into another reason why you want honeycombs. Let's grab some string. And let's also grab some honeycombs. Might want to get a string farm going. Uh, if you build the creeper farm on my channel, there's actually a spider. The spiders spawn with the creepers. And you get a ton of string as well. Um, because if you want to make candles, here we go. So honeycombs plus string equals one candle. And that's only one candle. So uh, if you want to make a bundle of candles, you're going to need a lot of honeycombs. So this is why we are talking. This farm is essential. So we want to show you guys how to build this farm. All right, dudes, we're back at 1.16. And we're going to show you guys how this farm is built. Okay, so let's check out this chest. We have two chests. We have six hoppers. We have six dispensers, 12 observers, 12 pieces of redstone. We have six bees nests or beehives. Now it's up to you how you collect your bees. If you go up with silk touch, you can actually grab bees nest and then you can bring the bees if they're inside. If you get them on a rainy day, you can bring them with you inside of the bees nest. Totally up to you guys how you do that, but that's an easy way to do it. You got six beehives. Um, so it's either six bees nests or six beehives. We need 18 bees. If you don't know how to get more bees, basically you just feed one a flower, feed the other a flower, they breed and it makes a baby bee. You're gonna want 18 bees. Now, if you guys are wondering why, because each nest equals three bees. So three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so that's why you need 18 bees. You're going to want some flowers. Now, I'm using rosebush and lilac, I believe it's called. Um, this way, um, two bees can actually use the flower to pollinate. Um, I believe that's uh, how it works. And if you have taller flowers, it's easier in a crowded space like that. 
Um, I got some bone meal for decorative just to like kind of fill in the grass. Totally up to you guys. We need six shears here. This is essential. You need all these for these dispensers. And then if you want to build the uh, outline around it, which you guys are wanting, you guys got to build it in like, you know, a tight space or else they can wander. Um, you just need a few stacks of glass, a couple doors, uh, some torches. And for the final thing, you need some temporary blocks. Let's grab all this stuff and let's go build this thing. All right, so find yourself a nice open space, and I'm gonna clear out all these items here. We're gonna grab our chests and our hoppers, and we're gonna build a one deep by eight long um, little trench here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. Put down a double chest like that, and then grab all these hoppers and connect them like this. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead, and you can either use your bee nest or your beehive, whatever you're using, and place them on top here, like this and then they're good to go. Then we're gonna grab a temp block and we're gonna go back here, place temp blocks behind the actual bee nests there. And then we are going to actually put our dispensers down. Make sure you place your dispenser like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, just like that. And then we could break these. All right, so now we currently have the bees nest or beehive set up with the dispensers facing into them. We have the chest down with the whole hopper collection system. Now make sure you guys place your hoppers crouched when placing your hoppers so that these tubes are leading into each other. Just wanna remind you guys that uh, a lot of people messed that part up. Okay, so moving on now, we can go ahead and put all of our shears in here. We can put our six sets of shears all inside the dispensers here, just like this. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hop over here and we're gonna build one, two, three, up like this with temp blocks and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. And then we're gonna go under here and we're gonna grab our observers and we're gonna place our observers like this. Make sure the arrow is pointing down. So as you guys can see, this arrow is pointing down and on top there is a face. So it makes sense, we get the face up and then the uh, arrow down. And then the next thing you're gonna do is go like this Place one observer, one observer, one observer, and one, and one. Okay, so this side with the actual nest or the um, or the beehive should have the upwards observer, and this side should have the downwards, okay? So make sure it's exactly like that. All right, we're gonna grab our redstone out, and we're going to put it all over top just like that. All right, so we're basically done here. We just have to actually build a little shelter around it just like this guy right here. So we're gonna go behind it and we're gonna go one, two, three, four like this. And let's just create a little shelter. I'm gonna start by doing a wall back here. Then we're gonna extend this by one here. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, four like this. All right, so that's our L-shaped wall. And then let's do another wall over here. So I'm just gonna extend this one out here. Then go over here, just do a wall like this. And then let's throw a front wall on it like this. I'm just building it four high. Um, that way it's got a gap above the redstone. And then we want to throw a double door on it like this. And then let's throw a roof on it. And this thing's good to go. So we can leave like a one block gap like that. And then uh, throw a roof on it just like this. And remember, this can be built out of anything. It doesn't have to be glass. Totally up to you guys. Make it whatever matches your uh, scenic area, right? All right, so this is basically done now, as you guys can see. Now, one thing if you guys want, you can always go like this. And uh, instead of going inside of it, you can always go and grab the loot like that, right? So the next thing we want to do is we want to just put some flowers up. Now, <clears throat> there is kind of a math to the flowers. So if we have 18 bees in here, we want to technically have half the amount of flowers that we have bees. So um, these technically count as two flowers. So we're going to want nine of these in total. So we got one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Um, now I forgot to use the rose bushes, so let's decorate a little with the roses. But yeah, there we go, nine in here. So that equals two bees per flower, which makes sense to me. And then uh, you could go ahead and grab some bone meal if you're feeling it. And you can even put little flowers in here too, uh, just to keep it more decorated. If you want to make this room bigger, you totally can. This is just so compact size, like, you know what I mean? Using the least materials possible. And uh, as you guys can see, it does work great because I've been getting a lot. I set this up about probably about a half an hour ago and it's been going pretty good. All right, so now you have to get your bees in here. Um, this is the kind of tricky part, depending how you want to look at it. Um, if you have your bees coming out of the actual nest here, 
um, from the nest, then you're good. But if you don't, then you I think you can use lead zombies, but um, just get a nest, pop it down in here, and then just breed them until you have enough. And then uh, eventually, once you get 18, you're good to go. All right, so now basically you just have to wait for all these bees to go to work. And then eventually every time this block here, I'm gonna break this open, hits level five honey, it will automatically get uh, dispensed by the dispenser using the shears. Now it will take a little while. Don't expect it to work right away. It will take at least like 10 minutes um, as long as you're in the same area as these bees. And yeah, it'll be working great. And it's a super good farm, honestly. You're going to need all these honeycombs for Minecraft 1.17, and we've only got a few days to go till 1.17. So I hope you guys enjoyed this farm, my dudes. All right, my dudes, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed it. Uh, let's try to get 100 likes on this farm tutorial. Um, now, this was a little bit different style of video because I was like, you know what? We gotta get this video out because honestly, these dudes are gonna need honeycombs because if 1.17 comes out, you guys don't have honeycombs, you're not gonna be able to build candles. You're not gonna be able to actually wax on on wax off copper you know what I mean you need that for an advancement so it's essential and it's really nice that Mojang's putting in this because I think it's uh it makes bees a little more useful because I honestly have never built a bee farm in any of my survival worlds I know that's crazy but I've never done it before and I figured you know what let's do it this time all right so thank you so much for watching my dudes and if you guys are excited for 1.17 smash that like button also if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit sub I do a hardcore live series every single day of the week at 3 p.m eastern standard time so if you want to join me and talk to me live. I'll see you then. All right, my dudes, have an epic day and peace out. I'll see you in the next Minecraft video.